We're voting this bill again uh, today in the House. We voted earlier uh, in this session, uh, and we're, we're taking a look at it again. The bill went to the Senate, uh, and they added a few more forms of identification that I think are acceptable and they're important. Uh, there's military ID and uh, IDs that are issued uh, for uh, state institutions, accredited state institutions, uh, as well as elderly care homes. Uh, so they're all uh, additional forms of uh, identification that can be used in the process of trying to make sure the people that are going to the polls are actually who they say they are, uh, and we're trying to crack down on some voter fraud. We have got uh, evidence that wo voter fraud is widespread, uh, and I can't tell you, particularly in the 125th district, but really in a lot of our urban districts, uh, it has been well noted that there is a large degree of voter fraud. So we just want to make sure uh, that, that when people come uh, to exercise their right to vote, that that, uh, that that right is not being obstructed by somebody who doesn't have the right to vote. The statistics that we have right now are less than 1% of the adult population does not have a valid identification. Uh, so number one, it is a very small group of people. Number two, uh, we, particularly in our office, and I know the office of many other representatives, are going to make it available to our constituents to assist them in getting IDs. So really, as a matter of public safety and doing business in the Commonwealth and getting the services that many of us need and depend on, you ought to have an ID. So I'm happy that we're going to help people get an ID through this process, maybe make pe people a little bit safer, and again, protect the right to vote.